Oh, God. <coughs> oh, geez. I'm not really that sick. That was just for effect. Obviously, I, I feel well enough to, to create this lesson right now. But I, I have been sick quite a bit this fall and winter. It's that time of the year when I think a lot of people get sick. And that's why I want to teach you some different ways that you can tell someone I'm sick. In general, I often like to tell people, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm feeling under the weather. This is an idiom that I think is pretty common uh, in just casual conversation. And it means that you're like a little sick, that, it, that it's nothing really serious. But it, instead of saying that you're sick or a little sick, you could just say, yeah, I'm, I'm, feeling, uh, I'm feeling under the weather. I am just feeling under the weather. And I think that I will go home and rest. And I really think this is a useful lesson because it's great to learn new ways to say things that are pretty, pretty common in our daily lives, like, uh, like being sick. So if you like adding variety to your language skills, please subscribe, turn on notifications. That way I can become your teacher. My name is Wes. The channel is Interactive English. And that's what it's all about, trying to help you improve and reach your fluency goals. The next way that you can tell someone you're sick is just to say, yeah, I have a cold. And a cold is a common infection. It, it affects your nose, your throat, you may cough a lot, and, and it's just a general statement to tell someone that you're sick. You can even add bit of, I have a bit of a cold. If you want to tell them that it's mild, it's not too serious, you could say you have a bit of a cold. Now, if you want to go to the other end and say that you were very sick, you could tell someone, oh, I'm sick as a dog. And this is an informal statement. It's also a simile because you're, you're comparing yourself to a dog. It's actually been around for hundreds of years. A long time ago, dogs were seen as undesirable animals. And there were quite a few statements that, that talked about dogs negatively, just like this one. So when you say you're sick as a dog, it means that you're really sick. Often, I think there's vomiting involved. And yeah, it's not good to be sick as a dog. No rations, fresh water. <laughs> Wolski's sick as a dog. <laughs> Enrico keeps trying to eat him. You could also say, ah, I don't feel so well. It's a very common statement. And I, often I think people would use this one when they're, they're starting to feel sick, that it's just beginning and you can let someone know that this is what's happening. Like, yeah, I just, I just don't feel so well. I don't know what it is but I don't feel well. I know talking about being sick is a bit of a downer and I, I wanna hit the pause button on that and talk to you about something that's going to be really exciting and make you feel good. And I'm gonna just throw this off so I, <laughs> I seem a little healthier right now. And I wanted to let you know that enrollment is now open if you'd like to join my speaking course. This will be the first Speak Up course of 2022, so it's a great way to start the year on the right foot keep your English skills healthy and alive. And the course is all about trying to help you speak confidently, speak clearly, and speak naturally. And there is a special start of year discount because it's 2022. If you use the code SPEAK22, you can get a 22% discount. So click on the link in the description if you'd like to sign up. The course includes weekly group lessons with me. I will be your teacher. There are weekly lesson PDFs. There are lesson preview videos. There are a lot of pronunciation video lessons, as well as resource guides, some audio lessons. There's a lot. Just click on the link if you'd like to join or learn more about class times and availability. You can also do the course privately with me and take one-on-one -on -one lessons. You can email me at info at interactiveenglishvideos.com if you'd like to learn more about taking a private course or email me if you have any questions about the course in general. So this is a great opportunity to practice and improve your speaking fluency with me. All you got to do is click on that link. Let's get back to those very useful, but not really things you want to have to tell someone because it's not fun to be sick. And the next, uh, well, let me, uh, let me get the, the blanket uh, back on because it gives the, right, uh, gives the right look for this lesson. I have been feeling a little under the weather. I'm, I'm feeling better now. But the next one that I have is I might be coming down with something. And 
you would tell somebody this uh, if you're again if you're just starting to feel sick you're using that modal of possibility might and often it refers to a cold and it's just letting someone know that your immediate future does not look good and then we can change this sentence just a little and take that modal out of there and now we have i've come down with something so in this case you are telling someone that you are sick so you're using something because Maybe you have not been to the doctor, you don't know what it is, probably you think it's a cold, or you could use this because you just don't want to be very specific. Perhaps you're calling in sick to work and you don't want to tell them exactly what's going on. You could just say, yeah, I've come down with something. Georgie, you're coming with us yesterday, shut lunch. Um, actually, I've come down with something. It's like a little tickle. It's like you could also tell someone, I'm feeling a bit run down. So to feel run down, this is an idiom. It means that you, you feel tired and weak. And uh, once again, this is one that you would use that if you're just starting to feel sick, and I think that's because at the beginning, people often feel tired and, and weak. And you could say, yeah, uh, I feel a bit run down. That's how I feel now, but perhaps in the future, it's going to turn into a cold or something else. So far, I've talked about general ways to say I'm sick, but right now, I wanna teach you some ways to, to be more specific and describe the, the illness you may be experiencing. So you could tell someone, I have a splitting headache. And I, I like this one, you can use splitting, I don't, I don't like having a splitting headache, that's not good. But I, I like this informal phrase because you can say that you have a splitting headache to say that you have a very bad headache. It could be caused by a cold or maybe stress. I know when I've been sick, sometimes I've had a splitting headache. Well, where's all this hesitation coming from? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just have a splitting headache. Let's stick with the head and you can tell someone I'm congested. So congested just means abnormally full. And you would say, I I'm congested, mostly to talk about your nose, but you could also refer to your head in general. If uh, everything just feels full up here, you can tell someone I'm congested. Right now, I, I feel a little bit congested, but it's all, it's working its way out. Now, if you want to be more specific, really just talking about the nose, then you could tell someone I'm stopped up. And in that case, it means that you might be having trouble <laughs> I am a little congested in that case it means that you might be having a little trouble breathing you're constantly blowing your nose trying to get all that mucus out of there and yes you could tell someone yeah I'm stopped up now if you're coughing a lot then you could say I'm coughing up a storm so this is an informal phrase in the US and if you if you say something up a storm it refers to doing something with a lot of energy or strength or ability. Oh, I'm just packing up a storm. Because she has been tweeting up a storm. I wrote up a storm making book after book. It can be used to refer to things that are both good and bad. In this case, it's not good to be coughing a lot. If you tell someone, yeah, I'm just, I've been coughing up a storm. Now, I, I will say that I think you would more likely use this phrase to make an observation about someone else. If, if this other person is coughing a lot, then you could say, yes, he or she is coughing up a storm. You could also say, I have a fever, which is a little more specific, or, or say, I'm running a temperature. Both of them mean the same thing. You, you're just saying that your head is hot because your body temperature has risen, which is a sign that something is wrong because there are many illnesses associated with a fever. You could also tell someone, I caught a bug. So to say that you caught a cold is a common collocation. Those are words that are frequently used together. But in this case, we're, we're just replacing cold with bug. And if you caught a bug, it, it refers to a virus or bacteria. And you can say, yeah, I, I, I caught a bug. Now, if you want to be a little more specific with this, often somebody might say something like, oh, I caught a stomach bug. And in that case, you're referring to uh, the stomach being affected, which then means that you are 
probably uh, getting sick and vomiting if you tell someone that, that you caught a stomach bug. And you could also use 24 hour bug. That's another uh, phrase that's pretty common. And you're just telling someone that you're, you're, you're pretty sick for just this short period of time and then it goes away. It's a 24 hour bug. Oh, I need a prescription. It's a 24 hour bug, it's just going around. Our family caught a 24 hour bug a few months ago and it sucked. Also when talking about stomach sickness, you, you could tell someone, yeah, I, I can't keep anything down. So in this case, you're, you're talking about vomiting that you're unable to keep food in your stomach. And this is what happens commonly when you catch a stomach bug. You may also tell someone something is not sitting well or the food is not sitting well. So in general, if something does not sit well, then that means that you don't like it. So in this case, you're referring to food and your stomach does not like it. So you could say, yeah, it's just, it's not sitting well. Maybe uh, you have a stomach ache. Perhaps it, it could refer to a little bit of food poisoning that you feel it in your stomach and you hopefully can keep it down, but you could just tell someone, yeah, just something's not sitting well. Except for that Yokohama beef bowl I tried for lunch. Not sitting so well. And then if you want to be very specific, you could just tell someone, I, I have the flu. It's very common this time of year. In winter, it refers to influenza. And it really uh, it reminds me, I, I still need to get my flu shot. I really hope that you learn something new, even though I hope that you do not have to use these phrases. But in reality, you know, we, we all get sick so they can be very useful. If you enjoyed the lesson, please hit that like button. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. So long.